Chase Windsor, and we are going to talk about our dry track system today and some standard maintenance uh, items that you will maintain on your dry track system at your quarterly clean out period. So first and foremost, you will need to grind this edge out. This is a sharp edge right here that makes contact with the dry track plates, and this needs to be periodically uh, sharpened. The other common thing that will happen with the dry track arms that inevitably happens is this flat bar will bend in the direction of the lumber flow. And it's actually designed to bend at the, at the flat bar versus further back to prevent uh, major catastrophic damage to the dry track system. So at your quarterly shutdown period, if you go into your kiln and you see that the arms is slightly bent, if you take this camera and zoom up a little bit, you can heat these, this flat bar with a torch and get you a, a square and square up these arms and make sure that these arms are always square. And if you pan back, the dry track system should be straight. All the arms should be straight. So the other common maintenance item that we have on the dry track arms are these Teflon insulators. As you know, the, this arm has to be electrically isolated so it can get an accurate reading off the dry track plate. And to do that, we have the Teflon insulators. And if the, if the arms get bent and these Teflon insulators start to break down and you start to make contact in here, then you can lose that electrical isolation. So if you go into the settings of the dry track on the dry spec CDK page, there's an area that we'll talk about later uh, where you can check the free air readings. And basically that's a zero calibration for are down and not making contact with anything. And we would expect a uh, typical free air reading to be about in the 280 range. So if you're getting a really high number, that would indicate that you're not electrically isolated. The first place you should come and look is these Teflon insulators and make sure that those are in good condition and that the arms are completely straight. So we're going to talk about how stacking can affect your dry track system. Uh, when the stack pushes, the dry track arms will lower in the position that they are now. And once uh, the pusher is done, then after a time period, all the arms will raise. So the arms will raise just like this, and it will make contact with the dry track plate in about this position. And then 30 minutes, when you're ready to push again, or whatever that time increment is, then the arms lower. Well, let's say that you have uh, sticks hanging out the edge of the pack, or let's say you have a board hanging out the edge of the pack. When you go to make, when the arms raise, you might not, you, it might get caught on that stick or that board, and you might not be able to go all the way up and make good contact with the dry track plate, so you won't get a reading at all. But let's say that it does make contact with the dry track plate. If it lowers back down, and it gets caught on a board, then it's stuck in that position. And when the pack moves, you're gonna drag this arm with you in that direction. And those arms are gonna start to bend over time. So as we've talked about in another video, uh, if the arms do bend, then you can come in here and heat those up, straighten them out. This is something that you should look at in your quarterly clean out. You just regular maintain of the system. If the arms are in so bad a shape where you feel like you need uh, some KDS Windsor site visits. We can come in here, cut these arms out at this, at this quadrant tubing right here and replace your entire switch arm assembly. Uh, if you feel like you need some uh, additional information on the drive track system, please reach out to us at kdskilns.com. Thank you.